Patrick Clark, the man accused of killing Migos rapper Takeoff, has been indicted by a Harris County grand jur jury on murder charges. That's according to the Harris County District Attorney. Now, Clark was arrested for the murder in connection with Takeoff's death. So Takeoff's alleged killer has officially been charged with murder. And the details are shocking on why the police believe that Patrick Xavier Clark, a popular Houston DJ, is the one who took his life after a high stakes dice game spiraled into a homicide that took the life of one of the most popular rappers in the world, part of which was unfortunately caught on camera. Well, correction, cameras, because the security footage and cell phone footage from in and around this event helped police put together their investigation. And look, this story has been a wild ride since day one, with literally twist after twist, as all of hip hop has been trying to come to terms with the untimely and tragic death of Takeoff, which unfortunately led to all types of shit like conspiracy theories, where the internet suspected that the first man arrested was the actual killer. 22-year-old rapper Cameron Joshua just wasn't, and while the internet tried to paint him as the shooter because he was at the scene and was the first person arrested, Police say that he was only charged with unlawful carrying of a weapon on November 22nd, and his lawyer made it clear that he had nothing to do with the shooting. Then we had the surviving Migo seemingly going to war and fighting, with Offset and Quavo allegedly getting into it backstage at the Grammys, and Cardi B even having to jump in. <laughs> All of this caught on camera as well. And then to top it all off, we had Jay Prince and Offset on the verge of a literal war with Jay Prince sending him a very stern message and Offset firing back in kind. It's Offset, dude. I ain't gonna leave him out. You know, I'm just real like this, you know, because, you know, you know, niggas be throwing rocks and hiding their hand, right? Look, if we're being honest, shit got messy as hell and ugly as hell. And unfortunately, I think that everyone was just hurt and looking for someone to blame. And others felt like they needed to defend themselves, all taking this tragedy from bad to worse. And then when things couldn't get even more strange, they handed Patrick Clark a million dollar bond. And then someone, a mystery person, comes out and pays it so that he doesn't have to fight the case on the inside. A concerned citizen that is a mystery person and no one knows when Mr. Clark was just saying that he was trying to get the bond lowered to a couple hundred thousand because he couldn't afford forward to pay the million. Breaking news overnight, the man accused of killing rapper Takeoff bonded out of jail. But then someone comes and pays the million dollar bond of the suspected shooter? Yeah, sounds a little iffy, right? And not to mention the claims from the HPD that Patrick Clark was getting ready to flee the country when they caught him. But that is something that he denied and his lawyer fought back against him. Yeah, all kinds of shit has been happening and we finally have a real update. As things have cooled off a bit and now the justice system is claiming that they have their man after this latest grand jury indictment. But why do HPD believe Patrick Clark is the killer. What happened at that grand jury hearing and what happens next? And blurry footage and fingerprints lifted from champagne bottles, do they really have the right man? Well, we'll get into all of that, but first, I am Joe Stone and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. We find the most provocative and shocking news in hip-hop and take it to church. Now, the Houston Police Department is saying that Patrick Xavier Clark was the one that took the life of takeoff in a spontaneous shootout that erupted at 2.34 a.m. Tuesday morning. Oh, that went left. At this private party slash dice game. Now, at 2.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, police received a 911 call reporting shots being fired at the super exclusive event. On arrival to the scene, police officers found takeoff dead on the third floor of the complex at the front doors of the event space. Reports say that this was the aftermath of a high stakes celebrity dice game slash private party. And after it was over, guys were in the parking lot. Some guys were mad at Quavo for taking their money. Allegedly, they start going back and forth. An argument then erupts into gunfire and somehow Offset ends up being the only one whose life is taken that night. The Harris County Medical Examiner's Office stated that takeoff died from penetrating gunshot wounds of head and torso into his arm. But since they arrested 33-year-old Mr. Clark, the HPD has been claiming that they had their guy. They caught him on the east side of Houston while he was suspected of preparing to flee the country. But why do they think they have him? Well, allegedly, they were able to piece together what happened using surveillance footage as well as cell phone footage showing DJ Pat firing a gun while holding a wine bottle. With the fingerprints from the bottle and his location in the video as well as where Takeoff got hit, they say they were able to narrow down the shooter to being DJ Pat, who had allegedly opened and fire along with one other person at the party. And even law enforcement, as they were talking, were saying that they don't think that Patrick had anything against Offset or he was even his target, that this was a complete freak occurrence and that Offset was the innocent bystander that got hit in the crossfire. The argument that happened outside, 
he was not armed. He was an innocent bystander. It wasn't even involved in the argument. Now that was the information that HPD originally gave to the public. And now after submitting all of their evidence to a grand jury, the grand jury decided that there was enough evidence to charge Patrick. DJ Pat is now asking for help to pay for a private investigator to defend himself against his allegations. And his lawyer is claiming that in court, they will need way more to convict him than they needed to charge him. And that is where they will be able to actually win and prove his innocence. The attorney is sending us this statement saying this grand jury indictment is not a surprise and adding quote we would ask people to remember that getting an indictment requires meeting a very very minimal standard of proof when we get inside a courtroom and in front of a jury we expect the jury will come back with a verdict of not guilty end quote but i know what is a grand jury indictment if you don't know that is basically when they take all their findings to a, a mock jury and then let the mock jury decide if this is a case that deserves to be played out if this is enough evidence to charge a person and if this case has enough weight to be presented in court the grand jury decided that in this case it was enough evidence but again these prosecutors will have to go in front of a real jury and prove to them without a shadow of a doubt that the police have their guy and that's going to be interesting when all they have to go off of is pieces of video footage security camera footage and it seems like a guesstimation of who what when and why things happen and also i'm surprised that they're going for murder when i would think that if they know that he didn't do it on purpose because they kind of admitted that and if it was just a freak accident why wouldn't it be manslaughter but i'm assuming that the prosecution has their reasons and i wonder if that's something that could end up getting patrick off overcharging and then losing that and then not wanting to have to go back for the manslaughter charge but let's see what the streets had to say about all of this update thank goodness takeoff deserves justice long live the rocket facts just killed a good man wasn't bothering anybody never did well allegedly justice must be served rip takeoff them boys gonna take care of him in prison don't worry about it well that may be true let me know what you think in the comments do you think that this is the killer do you think that he may